my goodness, look at that sweet thing. In all her glory, the 1948 Plymouth Super Deluxe with the suicide doors. This is a gangster car. This is super cool. Obviously, it's a little rough around the edges, but that's okay. Uh, I plan on kind of just rat riding this thing. I want to get it running and, uh, and drive it around town. Definitely a little bit of work involved with this. It needs tires. The engine needs to be gone over, but she is a beaut. Missing a little bit of trim. I just talked to the owner. He said his uh, family member owns some commercial real estate in Philadelphia. And this was in a warehouse that his, uh, that his family member owned. And there was another one here. Yep, glass oil change. 1369. Too cool. So, um, yeah, you know, this will all buff out, right? Everything is here. So the cool thing about this truck is it, or this car, is it, it's basically intact as, as it was when it was put away probably 40 years ago. The smells coming out of here are interesting. Any bodies back there, Justin? No, no, no bodies. Uh, Okay, so the body fell out of the bottom, is what I understand. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or they, they can rest on top of the gas tank. It's got <laughs> an extra tire. Lovely. Super crunchy. Oh my goodness. That is satisfying as That's like bubble wrap level satisfaction. For all you history people out there, this is really cool. This is the progress record for Paul something for the school year ending June 1953. I'm happy to show that Paul has imp made improvements in arithmetic. Paul is always a very polite boy. And a boy, Paul. Sending unit. Yes, that doesn't work. Oh yeah. More trip. I went on eBay to see how much these were gonna cost to replace. They're like 300 bucks per piece. No thanks. Oh my god, you're never gonna believe what I found. There's a rifle under the seat. Clickbait. This is cool. Oh, wow. World War II airplane drawings. This kid was actually pretty good. Oh my gosh, that looks like Remember the Main.
got a well, we got a proper road atlas here every car needs one of these I feel like that's still pretty usable. Still got some thread left on there. Oh, cool. Screwdriver time. Is it? Is it? Is it ready for the showroom? Yeah. Good work, boy. I see that. What do you think? You spraying? You sprayer? Great job, dude. So this is the 1947 218 cubic inch flathead engine that Chrysler made. Uh, this is a, a relatively inefficient by modern standards engine, um, but it's very simple. It's, they're supposed to be super reliable, um, and I'm hoping that I can get it running, although at present it's completely seized. Let's get everything cleaned up. It's a wonder they were ever able to get these things running without all the modern plastic coverings where you can't see the engine, because everybody knows that makes them run better. Without that OBD2 plug in there, how do they even know what's wrong with these things? The only thing that could make this engine better was if you had to get underneath the car to change the oil filter. I didn't see any check engine lights in this thing, so I guess there's no way I'll know when anything's wrong. So looking forward, you can see just how bad the floor is. It's rotten away in this sort of V pattern in the front. And then off to the sides, along the sides, you can see it's just completely rotted out. I've got my tripod going straight to the floor, to the garage floor. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna cut out like a foot on either side and just start patching in. 
the good news is just about everything here is totally flat along these sides. So that should be really easy, especially with my very limited skill set. So as we look rearward, we've got a lot of great things going on. The floor in the rear where the back seat was is totally solid. It was completely covered by this bed liner kind of material. Um, if you know what this stuff is called, this kind of rubberized paint that they used back in the day or what it is, leave that in the comments down below. I'm curious. Um, but everything is super solid. There's a couple little holes here and there, but for the most part, just rock steady. Um, the trunk, however, is a whole nother story. So the trunk has a little bit of okay metal by the front. It still was covered, but everything out here is just completely pitted out, rotted out. I mean, there's nothing left. It is just flaking, flaking away. So this is gonna be replaced lock, stock, and barrel. I think this should be pretty easy. Again, all flat stuff. Um, my, uh, my spare tires bowl underneath is in good shape, so that's good. Um, I'm gonna need to make a replacement panel for this section here that's just completely rotted out. Um, but you know what? The reason I take on these projects that are challenging is so I can learn, and I'm definitely gonna learn a lot on this car. Guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends. Make sure you're not missing out. Follow me on Instagram at Parts and Restoration. Check out some cool videos of the Dodge Power Wagon. Looking forward to seeing you on the next video.